this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a timer in Scratch. You can create timer or countdown timer. So let's start with countdown timer. First, we're going to create a variable. So we're going to go to variables and click on make a variable. I'm going to name it timer. OK. So variable shows in the left top screen of our project. We're going to start with when green flag clicked. And first we're going to set the timer. Set timer to, let's say, five seconds. We got five seconds to solve something. OK, then we're going to go to controls. And we're going to use repeat until. So we're going to repeat counting down time until timer equals zero. So we're going to choose code equals, go to variables and add timer equals zero. So now here we have to set the code to count down time by one second. So we're going to go to control. We're going to say wait one second. And then we're going to change this variable. Change by minus one. So we're going to subtract one from our five seconds. OK, and when timer equals zero, we can say that we will stop this program, so we'll set, say stop all. OK, if we click green flag, the timer sets to five and counts down. When it comes to zero, everything stops. OK, so that we will see that Sprite actually stopped. I'm just going to move it a little around the screen. OK, move it and bounce on edge. And I'm going to set the direction left to right so that our cat is not going to spin to the head. OK, the timer is counting down. And when it comes to zero, everything stops. OK, so this is countdown timer. We can also create timer that counts time. So we're going to say that the user gets uh, 60 seconds. And after 60 seconds, something happens. Let's say the level changes or something like that. So we're going to change this code. So we're going to set the timer at the beginning to zero. And then we're going to repeat timer equals 60 seconds. And again, we wait one second, and then we change timer by not minus one. This time, if we count time, we're going to add one. So we change timer by one. And then when timer gets to 60 seconds, here you can add code to change level or change background or change speed of, of the sprites or something like that. Or you can also stop your game and add code stop all. OK, to test this, I'm going to set timer to 5. So I'm going to wait from 0 to 5 seconds, and then the sprites should stop. OK, we start with 0, and now we're counting time. And when we reach 5 seconds, everything stops. OK, thank you for watching. Till next time, bye bye.